Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. It's another Feature Friday here at Walnut Ridge Family RV in Newcastle, Indiana. Today we're going to look at the Outback 328 RL, RL Rear Living. And it's a great empty nesters coach and I'm going to show you the inside shortly. But first, let's look at a few of the features on the outside. Here's your docking station. So in the docking station you have an outside shower hook up here. You have your regular black tank flush and you have your city water connection right there. You also have a bypass for winterization. So that's ideal. It is behind a locked compartment so it, it stays secure. Plus they're gonna give you a spare key inside there if you ever need that, you've got it right there. Look at the outside storage. This is on the non-door side. So it's a little bit odd in that sense, but they took every opportunity to give you more storage wherever they could. And that's ideal to have it right there. Walking this way, I want to definitely point out that the Outbacks always have aluminum wheels. They are terrific in that sense. Here you have your cable hookups, and that's behind, again, another locked door for security. So if your uh, campground or wherever you're at has a cable accessibility, it goes on right there, and that will help you out an awful lot. We have your evacuation point right here and your black and gray tank pulls, so they're right there and easy to get to. Again, more storage compartment on the non-door side, so we, we have to love that. Coming around here, if you look at this coach right there, it has an 8,500 unloaded vehicle weight. It tells you right there on the sticker, so you can match that up to your towing abilities. Coming around here, here is an awesome uh, benefit to having an Outback, and that is it's an eight-point um, auto leveling system on a travel trailer. Almost unheard of, but there you have it on the Outback right there. Look at those beautiful LED lights on the front. You can actually run those going down the road. You can run them sitting at your campsite, or you can turn those off if you don't want them on at all, but that is absolutely beautiful. And as we come around to the front storage on this one, look at this pull-out tray. So no more diving into the storage compartment. They bring you a tray. It brings it right out. It's on beautiful steel rollers right here, and it is well lit. We have an awning on this side, right above the door, as we should, but then, again, with a slide on the, on the door side, we have our second awning in place as well. So when they both come out, again, you double the size of your camp space. Big old grab handle right there. This is a sealed underbelly and heated unit. It has the upgraded solid steps on it. Has a rear ladder because all Outbacks have walkable roofs. And now let's go inside and check it out. So on the Outback, one thing I really want to point out is there are no table legs on this one. This is a wall mounted table. So if you look inside there, there's no crashing your legs into the posts anymore, but it does still come down and this still will make sleeping quarters if you need those. Nice LED lights underneath there that backlight those as well. All the Outbacks have roller shades in those and those blackouts. So if you want to keep it dark in the morning so you can sleep in, well, you can certainly do that. How about this? Theater seating and recliners built right in here and very comfortable. They got cup holders already on them, so that'll be terrific. Right here we have a trifold sleeper sofa, so this comes out into an RV queen and it's very comfortable and you'll be able to put up some guests there if you need to. We have end tables on both sides, we have 110 connections on both sides, we have storage cabinets on both sides. Storage is obviously an extremely important issue. We have storage above here, we have the big TV, we have the big fireplace. Now something about fireplaces, we have a lot of people come in and say, I don't need a fireplace. Well. It's actually 5,000 BTUs of electric heat. So if you don't want to burn up your propane, it's just a little chilly outside, turn this on, and you're using the campground's electricity, not your own propane, so that's ideal. That thing, you can set it by the hour, you can set it by the temperature, you can have no heat at all and just have it on for the ambiance. That flame will change colors, and you can have it on blue, you can have it on red, you can have it on like it is orange right now, and you can have it so it rotates through all those colors, and it's just really nice when you kill the lights, it's at night, it's time to relax, and you just want the ambiance, you've got that. AM, FM, CD, DVD player. So ideally, you don't need another DVD player. It's built right in right here, and you can send that sound outside, inside, neither, or both. However you'd like to do that, it's up to you. It's your camper. All right, right here we have the cook stove, LED backlit knobs. Um, it has the overhead vent, of course. It has storage up above it. It has storage on the side. It has storage back behind this beautiful island with the hard surface countertops, big stainless steel country sink. And right here we have a 12-volt refrigerator. Look at the size of that. So 
What is the most important thing that we hear when people are looking at one of these? Ah, I can get a gallon of milk in it. And yes, you can. This will even run going down the road as you're plugged into the tow vehicle. How about that? Over here, we have a nice little breakfast nook, so additional counter space. Microwaves right here, about great height right here, so you can keep an eye on that. We have deep storage cabinets right up here. And by the way, real wood doors. So that's another thing about Outback. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't show you both refrigerators. This thing is loaded, so you can go on the road and stay on the road as long as you like. All right, coming back to the bathroom. If you look in the bathroom here, you'll see it's got a great little vanity with storage below. It's got a real medicine cabinet. Nice, tall counter uh, shower for you tall guys. Look at the linen closet right there. They didn't forget you there. Beautiful porcelain toilet at a good angle, so you've got that handled. As we step into the bedroom, look at that king bed right there. You have a small shelf on both sides of that. Cabinetry up above that. You have opening windows on both sides of the bed in that slide so you get that cross breeze at night. Because let's face it, when you go camping, you don't want to sit around with the air conditioner on 100% of the time. Sometimes it's just beautiful and you want a good breeze, and there you have it. it. Has courtesy lights throughout so you're not stumbling around in the middle of the night. We have 110 on both sides of the bed. We have USB on the other side of the bed. We have this great big closet, shoe shelf hangers and it's great and it's sizable when you come over here look at that we have where you can put an all-in-one combo washer and dryer if you want to and that would be awesome as well because if you want to go on the road and you want to do your own laundry and you don't want to use public facilities you've got your own chest of drawers built right in how about that look at the drawers right here and surprise we've got more storage underneath the bed including the outback dog kennel if you should choose to use that as well so that is the Outback 328 RL or Rear Living. It's the ultimate in empty nest or a mom and pop coaches as we call them. But it does have some hidden sleeping so that if the grandkids want to come or your kids want to come, you can bring them. All right, this has been another Feature Friday from here at Walnut Ridge Family RV. I'm John Hancock. Come out and see how well we do it all.